Hello guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how we can be able to maximize our yields on DeFi using Drift protocol. But in this video, we'll also be seeing how we can be able to use our step finance dashboard to manage our futures position. So let's dive right in. Now we are on our dashboard. I want to be sure I have enough assets that I want to take a leverage position on. In this case, I would like to take a leverage position on Solana. However, you want to notice that I do not have any open futures position on my dashboard. So what I want to do is to visit the drift.trade. On that platform, I'll be able to trade my assets with leverage. I'm currently on the Drift protocol. I'm going to connect my wallet. Be sure to acknowledge the terms and agreement. Now it's asking to get started with an email or to connect with a Solana wallet. Definitely, I'll connect with the Solana wallet, Phantom wallet, and I have to approve the transaction. I'll click connect. Now I'm being told to fund my account. I'm going to hit maximum. That's about $8 um, worth of USDC. I'll click Confirm deposit. I'll approve the transaction. We are on our Drift platform. You want to be sure to have a little bit of uh, knowledge on technical analysis before trying to trade leverage assets. Okay. Um, I'm going to expand the chat. And basically, if you're familiar with market trends, you would notice that price is currently um, in an uptrend. Okay, um, we see price shoot to this level at $26, came down to this level at $25. And currently, price is at this high, about $27, and we see price retesting $26. Uh, it's most likely setting. So otherwise the price is going to reach out to $27.395 in the next few hours. Otherwise, we may most likely see price coming down at about $25. But whichever the case is, I want to be bullish in my bias. I'll exit the chart. My bias is long. The other type is going to be market, which means I'm going to get an instant execution. The maximum position I can be able to open is $80, which is 10 times the amount I deposited into this wallet. Okay. Um, if I'm going to go with 100% of everything that I've deposited in this wallet, my liquidation price is going to be $23. And that's way not too far from $26.59. I'm going to make it 50% so that my liquidation price is somewhere around $20. So that means if the price of Solana drops down to about $20.87, I'm going to lose my $8 completely. But if, if the price of Solana keeps increasing and going higher, I would keep making more yields. So let's take the long position. Long position. I want to approve the order in my wallet. So currently we have an open position. Now you can track your PNL 
if you are making a profit or if you are making a loss now let's go to the step.finance dashboard to see if we can be able to tag this position on the dashboard now you can see that we have a new position introduced to our asset and that's margin trading let's come down to see the position if you come down here you can be able to see that we have a margin trading position which is on the drift platform and you can be able to see the equity this is the total equity and this is just our position on the drift platform you necessarily do not need to go there to see your positions you can be able to tag all of your activities on the solana ecosystem in your wallet on just one dashboard and that's a step that finance platform thanks for watching see you in the next video